fresh greens, mix, and go. Okay, look, I hate to interrupt an artist while she's juicing, but we're gonna have to draw a hard line when it comes to the students and the schedule, okay? <laughs> You're a little shiny. Awesome, let's take a selfie. I don't feel comfortable. I really don't feel like this is my world. It just feels like everyone walking around is like a sycophant. Everything in her life is sponsored. I know, but don't ruin this for me. Hey, how we doing? I'm sorry, I don't. I don't think it's gonna work out. It's just perspective. No, it's not just perspective. You see her as some pop star with endorsement deals. A narcissist who takes meaningless selfies, but that's I mean, not is the a selfie thing. ever meaningful. I mean, <laughs> look, I, I don't mean to be negative, but I'm not. A Big social media person. I feel it's kind of a distorted reality. I'm so it, glad it came to your TED talk. No, come on. I see it all the time in my students. That's ready it's, to walk. Social walk. media can also reach people. It can be a tool. Yeah. You know what a tool is, though, right, Charlie? Okay, thank you, Melissa. Burn. I know this is a lot. Just go out there and be yourself. I so probably wouldn't be here. But... Listen, if you don't want to do this, I... what then? I leave. I thought you said he was into this. He is. He can hear you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kat Valdez and her new husband, Charlie Gilbert. So you think it's romantic, marrying a complete stranger? Uh, impulsive, without a plan. But hey, look where my plans got me. <laughs> so you just threw caution to the wind and thought... I didn't think, actually. It was a moment. You're banking a lifetime on a moment? No, I'm banking a moment on a moment. Get enough of those and that's a lifetime. You know nothing about each other. Did you think twice, Charlie? People meet randomly all the time at a, at a bar or... Online? Yeah, online at 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, I mean, why is this any crazier? To state the obvious, you got married. Yeah. And now we get to know each other. But not as man and wife? But no, that would be nuts. <laughs> Just for her. For me, it would be pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, I held up a friend sign asking a woman to marry me. She said yes, and I did. And, you know, I did it not, you know, because she was beautiful, and, well, maybe a little. Um, <laughs> but it just seemed like, in the moment, the right thing to do. So what, you just saw each other and said yes? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that doesn't seem frivolous? Historically, marriage was transactional. It was about expanding your empire, and a woman's value was based on what she brought. Like, you give me a heifer and I'll give you my daughter. It's terrible, I know. That's, you know, I didn't come up with it. But it really was a business deal, and it wasn't designed to be about love, and maybe that's where people kind of get tripped up now. This is your second marriage, right, Charlie? You wouldn't want to fail again. <sighs> well, you haven't lived unless you fail, Bill. You should know that from your time at CNBC. <laughs> Listen. What we did was crazy. We know that. But it was just truly a leap of faith. The rules as they exist pretty much suck for women. I mean, why do we have to wait for men to propose? Why is everything on his terms? Now, I think it is time to shake things up. How about this? We pick the guy, we keep our name, and let him earn the right to stay. That was terrific. <laughs>